Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Real United States. And I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I found something that I wanted to share with you because I've always been a fan of these, and I didn't know that they even existed in the United States proper. So what I wanted to show you that I found is, well, that is a beetle. That is, in fact, a Hercules, Eastern Hercules beetle. And it is part of the order that are scarab beetles. And if you've ever seen the, mu the movie The Mummy, that's enough to give you nightmares for the rest of your life. So they belong to a, uh, a subfamily, the Dynastidae. And this little bugger, in fact, is the Dynasties Tidius. I'll put that on the screen. I'm sorry if I blew the pronunciation, but that's how I would pronounce that. And they get up to about 2.4 inches long, just on, just over 2 and 3 eighths inches. And I wanted to try and show you, if I can, that this one is, in fact, a full-grown male. It's about 2 and a quarter inches long. And uh, you can tell it's a male because of the very pronounced pincers. The females have very subdued or no pincers like that in the front. The... Uh, the pincers are, are they're harmless to humans. These, these little bad, bad boys are really harmless to humans. They just look really nasty. The pincers are for contesting with other males for territory. And everything to do with defense or for um, food or anything like that. That's, that, that is uh, something that they use so that they can fight with other males because that's what we guys do. We fight with other guys. So anyway... I always thought that these were strictly something that you found in uh, South America or places like that in the rainforest. But in fact, the eastern Hercules beetle has a range here in the United States that runs from uh, Alabama, roughly, to Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut. And these are, like I say, so this is, <laughs> this is something that I'm, I'm bringing you that is exclusively from the United States. And uh, I, I found a, a bunch of interesting things about this one because I, I didn't know what it was, I mean, specifically. And I came home and looked it up and started looking up information about it. In 1999, the United States Postal Service actually issued a 33-cent stamp. Actually, they issued a bunch of different ones with bugs on them, but one of the ones that was commemorating the Eastern Hercules Beetle. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I'll put that on the screen here right now. And uh, also, these are so rare, which is why I've, you know, gotten to be this age and never seen one. I found one on eBay. I'll show it to you now. Look at this. They are offering it for sale for $40. $40 for a dead beetle. Can you believe that? So I got, I got, I got dead buddy here for free. And uh, I, I found this, believe it or not, it wasn't like, out in the woods or anything, I found this on the sidewalk in Washington, D.C., directly across the street from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Unusual place to find it. They, uh, they lay eggs that, uh, that hatch into grubs that get pretty good sized. Uh, maybe, you know, two, two and a half, three inch long grubs. And the grubs actually eat rotted wood. So you're going to find these in, in old forest areas with, you know, down trees and things. The adults, they don't know much about what they eat, but apparently they've been observed lapping up uh, tree sap, so they, the adults do eat. But they're, they're, again, they're not, uh, they're not any danger or anything to humans. They don't, they don't bite or attack you or anything. I have seen other rhinoceros beetles, which this is a, a part of that larger group called rhinoceros beetles, uh, that people in South America keep them as pets, and those are a much larger member of this group. But they're, they're, they're really docile. They don't, you know, move terribly fast. They can fly really fast, but they, uh, they don't walk or run terribly fast. And you can see it's, it's got uh, this kind of speckled effect on it. And I'm told that these colors change on how well hydrated the, uh, the animal is. So I, I don't know. But it's a, that's, a, that's a big bug, folks. That is a really... Massive, massive beetle. And I just thought that was so fascinating that uh, we actually had a, you know, our, our, our nation had a stamp dedicated to it and that people were trying to sell them on eBay for exorbitant prices. So 
what I think is an exorbitant price. You know, maybe maybe they're even rarer than I realize because, like I said, I've never seen one before. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, our little presentation with the Eastern Hercules Beetle. I hope that you'll pick, subscribe, and come along for the adventure if you haven't done so already, of course. If you've got questions or comments, I'll do the best I can. I try to get back to everybody I possibly can. Leave in the comments section below. And as always, thank you for watching.